So you've probably been hearing an awful lot about the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, but what's it all about? So firstly, the Jubilee. The Jubilee is essentially a celebration of an event. For example, the Queen's reign. That's reign, R-E-I-G-N, as in the length of time that a king or queen rules over their people and not the British weather complaint. Okay, so why Platinum Jubilee? Well, special jubilees are named after precious metals. For example, 25 years, silver. 50 years, golden. 60 years, diamond. And of course, platinum, which is 70. So, Queen Elizabeth II is celebrating 70 years on the throne. On the 9th of September 2015, the Queen became the longest reigning monarch in British history, after her great-great-grandmother. That's her mum's 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 mum. Her, her nan's nan, her, her great-great-grand... It was Queen Victoria. So, in honour of the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, here are some surprising facts that you may not know about the Queen. So, the Queen was born on the 21st of April 1926 in Mayfair in London. She then had her coronation on the 2nd of June 1953 when she became Queen. The Queen's main residence is Windsor Castle, which just so happens to be the oldest and largest castle in the world. Now that is impressive. So, the Queen's first Prime Minister was, of course, Sir Winston Churchill. Now, the Queen is not allowed to vote. She can, however, sack her Prime Minister. She has this power, and it is called the Royal Prerogative. Her first engagement was on the 21st of April, 1942. That was her 16th birthday, where she inspected the Grenadier Guards at Windsor Castle. Since then, She's had more than 21,000 engagements in her reign. And on the subject of currency, over 35 countries have coinage with the image of the Queen on it. There have been over 14 US presidents during her reign, and she's met each and every single one, apart from President Johnson in 1963-69. to 69. The Queen was the first British monarch to address the United States House of Congress on the 16th of May 1991. The Queen was also the first reigning British monarch to ever visit China in 1986. Another first came in November 2017, when Her Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh celebrated their Platinum Jubilee anniversary, the first time ever a reigning monarch has done so. Now, as all UK passports and driving licences are issued in the Queen's name, Her Majesty is not required to hold one. This is a privilege held by her alone. In addition, on her vehicles, she doesn't need to have a number plate. OK, a few food and drink facts about Her Majesty. So firstly, the Queen is not a fan of garlic, so you're unlikely to find it in many dishes at Buckingham Palace. Secondly, Apparently, the Queen enjoys a glass of champagne each night before bed. And finally, under royal etiquette, when the Queen has finished eating, the meal is over. So you better eat up. On the 8th of May 1945, or Victory in Europe Day, the Queen, or then Princess Elizabeth, and her sister, Princess Margaret, went incognito onto the streets of London, shoulder to shoulder, celebrating with the nation. Now. No fact compilation about the Queen would be complete without reference to her pet ownership. Now, over the course of her reign, she has owned more than 30 corgis and a dorgie. What's a dorgie, you might ask? Well, on one occasion, one of her corgis escaped and mated with Princess Margaret's dash hound, therefore creating a dorgie. Whoops. Of course, the Queen has a few tricks up her sleeve. For example, when she's at engagements, she sends secret signals to her staff. For example, 
If she changes her handbag from one hand to another, this is a sign that she wants to wrap up the current conversation and move on. And finally, the Queen has reigned for so long that four out of five UK residents were not alive when Her Majesty ascended the throne. And so for such a significant milestone, how will the UK and the Commonwealth be celebrating? Well, in a very British way. <laughs>